It was my annual performance review. I was completely unprepared for the director's opening words. My review turned into my dismissal. I moved on, found a position teaching museum studies. Thought I'd come to terms with being laid off. Thought I believed in myself. Flash forward 10 months. It was 8 a.m. on a sunny morning in Los Angeles. I was striding from my hotel to the LA Convention Center, suit, stockings, and high heels, on the way to moderate a session at a conference. Crossing the street, I tripped and fell flat on my face in the middle of Sepulveda Boulevard at rush hour. A young man moved in to help. I picked myself up. Bruised and bloody with ripped stockings, I turned back to the hotel. As I turned, I began to sob and yelled, at no one in particular, this is not the way it was supposed to be. All the way back to the hotel, I cried. I cried as I trudged up the stairs to my room. I cried as I washed the blood from my knees and changed clothes. I cried all the way down the stairs and back to the convention center. A hurried phone conversation with my husband brought an end to the tears. I made it through. After the session, I felt a bit better. I went back to my room, changed into comfy clothes, checked my email, and began grading papers. The phone rang. Hello? Hey, Holly. It's Larry. How you doing? You got a minute? Sure. What do you think about being NMC's new museum scholar-in-residence? Ah, redemption. Redemption.